We live in a beautiful area of the state. We've got trees, we've got valleys. There's a lot of outdoor recreation around here with lakes and rivers. It's just a nice, quiet, peaceful place to live. We love living here. It's kind of a close-knit, smaller community, and it has kind of a hometown atmosphere. At Peak, our vision is empowering people and improving quality of life, and that's what we strive to do every day. Our business is built on trust. Our customers are our friends, they're our neighbors. And it's kind of a personalized support that you don't get from some of the larger internet service providers. We serve very rural markets with our terrain and the mountains and the valleys, really wireless or satellite signals are just not possible in those areas. When we're going out prospecting, trying to find out areas that we want to build fiber in, I get a lot of response from people that their internet service is completely inadequate for doing most of the daily things that most of us take for granted. We were so excited when we could get internet service out here. Thought it was going to be the greatest thing since Cracker Jacks, but half the time it did not work. We live in what's called a bandwidth exhaustion area. We would get like dial-up speed, even though we're paying for DSL. A lot of these people in the rural communities are getting left behind. My husband saw an article about how CPI was partnering with Peak to get internet to some of these far-reaching areas in, in Eastland County. So my husband is like super happy. It's coming, like we're gonna have good blazing fast internet. Fiber is a really important part of service to our members, but also for the operation of the electric utility too. Peak's relationship with CPI initially started with working directly with them to get connectivity to their substations. Substations are the, the biggest asset utilities manage. Fiber to the substations gives us real-time analysis of the system and how it's performing. And our partnership with Peak has allowed us to have really good control over our system. Just like our electric cooperative parent, our goal is to build a future-proof network. Fiber is crucial. Fiber is not affected by the weather. Fiber is stable and it's safe. There is no limitation with fiber. It opens unlimited options or services that we can do. If something new comes tomorrow, we are ready for that. We are rolling out a state-of-the-art future-proof network to rural America. We serve 5,000 of our rural homes in our service carry with high-speed gigabit broadband services. We have rural homes in mountainous valleys and canyons that have better service in their home than people do in a metropolitan area. The financial assistance that we received from USDA was essential for us to build into our rural markets. With the lack of density that we have in our markets, there is not a viable business case that you can take to a bank to borrow the money to serve these areas. Our nearest neighbor is about a quarter mile away, and you know we're all in this rural um, area, and everybody struggles with internet. Out in a lot of those areas, there's such a low home count per mile. When you talk about a one mile build, you may only get two or three residents in some of the areas. This funding is critical for us. With the ReConnect program, we've made a larger dent in serving our rural constituents. Without that grant money, we wouldn't be getting good internet. We are very fortunate to be part of the program where the fiber service was brought in. The connectivity has increased exponentially. That's allowed us to be able to have the services that we need for our home and our family. It really does work good, and it's good to have it working. There's more work to be done and more homes to be served, and future ReConnect programs will help us do that. This really enables us to close the digital divide and to serve those rural customers. It's more than just a job. It's, it's a way of life. It's a philosophy. Trying to make the world a better place to help make life better for the rural communities that we serve, that's a very powerful thing.